You thought methamphetamine was bad. You thought morphine was bad. Get ready for heroin. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Luke. And I'm your host, Jacob. And he was not expecting me to say that as the intro. (laughs) I'd like to uh, encourage you to go check out our other content uh, if you haven't already. And uh, we're going to jump right into the weird 1800s inventions. And I'm going to start off with what I teased in the intro, heroin. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty fire. It's bad. Don't do it. But it was invented in the 1800s. So, um, heroin, uh, was invented by the Bayer Pharmaceutical, uh, company in, um, let me double check. I think it was in 1874. So, um, it was, uh. It was um, originally titled uh, Diamorphine, I believe. Uh, what? And yes, because the heroin is the brand name of the uh, of the. There substance. was a brand name. Who was yes, like? Her- heroin is the brand name of of what it is. Yes, yeah, sorry. It's di. When di- was heroin di- a brand? <laughs> Dicetylmorphine. Um, yeah, so it was originally synthesized in uh, 1874. But it was uh, resynthesized 23 years later uh, when they were like, ooh, you know what would be a good idea is to uh, get us some new drugs. Right, Jacob? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so so you're saying that it was a brand name? Correct. You didn't know that? No, heroin is the brand name, just like Tylenol or... Um, who was the brand? Who was the brand that named it? Bayer. Los Paulos Bi- no, no, the Bayer. Med- <laughs> no, that's different. Also, you said Poyos really weirdly. Um, Poyos. Luke. Los po- po- What'd you say? Polos. Well, I, I didn't mean. Sorry. Um, anyway, no. It was originally marketed as an over-the-counter drug. Um, it was uh, as a morphine substitute for cough suppressants. <laughs> oh no, I'm coughing. You know what I need a shot of. Wait, what year was heroin illegal? I mean, illegal, legal, what year was what heroin? What year was it legal? It was um, legal until 1924. So it was legal oh. for tw- it was legal for 26 years. Um, How to time travel. Th- yes. Uh, <laughs> although technically it was not officially banned um, by the League of Nations until 1928. So you could buy it in other countries for a couple of years. Um, Luke, do you have a time machine on you? I do not. Also, you would not be making that much money because I'm pretty sure the heroin back then was a lot different than it was now. No, I'm saying I, I, I mean, let's just say someone wanted to get heroin back from 1920. Oh, look, look at these, look at these amazing notes. Um, evidently, Bayer lost some of its trademark rights to heroin uh, under the 1919 Treaty of Versailles, following the German defeat in World War One. That, that's fun man what a shame i can't believe so um uh let's see yeah so it's been it's been it had uh it had a nice little uh 26 year run in the united states um until congress went uh-oh so no i did a i did a report on heroin for um health class and uh no one of the things that i learned was um that uh People just thought it was good. The the original experiments done on patients using heroin was um basically Pretty just man. just uh, let's uh, no the original if I remember right it was like it was like this guy had a really bad cough and he was feeling just terrible and so the the doctors gave him heroin and they were like oh dude this thing's gonna fix him right up like he'll be he'll be fine in no time and he was like doc I feel no pain I am good to go. And so they kept him there for like two weeks, and then like they cut off his heroin, and then he started dying, getting, getting a lot worse. Yeah, they they were like, "Nah, I'm sure it's I'm sure it has nothing to do with with the heroin." So, hey, yeah, yeah. Um, so so mine's a little bit more weird, if you you want to say that. Uh, the tricked pledge altar. The what? The the tricked pledge altar. So you know. So you know where you go to um, pray in a church sometimes, right? Yes, yes, yes. If you are of the Catholic variety. So imagine that. I'm assuming. If you are of the Catholic variety. But it's tricked. 
So what does that mean? It means that a fake skeleton pops out Ooh. and and sprays you with hear this right now scalding water scalding how do they keep the water hot no that's so this is supposed to be a prank it's a prank with scalding water is this just a patent or is this a real invention no this this is a, this is a real thing uh you got a photo i don't think i have a photo wait it could just be a patent but who would what, even think you, about what'd you say it was called research time the, the tricked pledge altar who would think of something this this like terrible? Of a f um, is this patented? I'm looking, cause I'm buying that patent. Like, what if I need it someday? Oh my goodness! Is this a real thing? Is it a real thing? Um, <laughs> I think uh, so. Oh gosh, who made this? Okay, the pledge, the pledge altar, 33 inches high, top 22 by 27 inches with an electric mat and 50 blank cartridges, only $76. It's still being made? No, this was from the amazing year of... 1924? I have no clue. I'm actually trying to figure this out. It's, just yeah. a, page, it's a page from a catalog. Uh, the Mulen Bros and Company. I'm gonna save the image so that people can uh, see, it. see it on the YouTube. If you're watching it on YouTube, the Mulen Bros and Company. Like, who would who would make such Greenville, a thing? Illinois? They make marching band uniforms. Man, that was that. Was that that is a that is a totally different. Founded world. is the oldest and is the oldest manufacturer of music perform group apparel in the world. Good for Founded them. Founded in eighteen ninety two. So I'm assuming that they were uh, producing this in uh, yeah in the late eighteen hundreds, maybe early nineteen hundreds, but it was probably invented before then. So it definitely counts as a weird eighteen hundreds as mentioned. So what yeah, cap the candidate so the candidate kneels before the altar in all meekness and sincerity to take the obligation. Um, he's thankful that it's all over, and then, uh, yeah, a skeleton jumps out with glaring eyes, and a blank cartridge is exploded, and a steam of water hits him in the face, and a, an electric shock is shot into his knees. Oh, I even, oh my gosh, who would, oh, it's for the Freemasons. Oh! Yeah, makes yeah, a, there we go. That makes a lot more yeah, sense. Yeah, that now. makes sense. Oh, okay. They were trying to kill the person. <laughs> that's not. That's not any repenting Freemasons. If there are any out there, please don't kill me. Um. Why did please. they have to specify that they were? They recommend the battery. However, their magneto may be used if the candidate's bare skin comes in direct contact with the mat. So they're trying to not electrocute people. Just a little bit, and just burn them a little bit. I'm not. I'm not sure, 100 percent how real this is, but hey, if they made money off of it, it's free game. Imagine you invite someone over, over to church, and that's how you, and that's and that's what happens. Yeah. All right. So April Fools, guys. Um, back to me. All right. I've got a classic. This was mentioned in our first. Uh, First, um, regular show, like, standard show episode. This is the amazing world of gas lighting. Oh, and God. The, it, this was originally brought up because, um, Walt Disney was like, hey, yo, I'm finna out of here. And they were like, it's our right. boy? Our boy Walt Disney's back? Then, and so they were like, ooh, it's his ghost. It's his ghost. Um, even though somebody just forgot how gas lamps worked. So... Gas lamps, um, so a little bit different than the oil lamp that was originally used with Walt Disney, but while it being similar, it was used for um, the. Uh, it was used in the 1800s. Um, evidently, there was a lot of mines in the uh, in the um, late 1700s that were trying to figure out a new uh, a new system, and so uh, in the early 1800s. Um, Specifically in London, 
um, they started using gas gas lighting. Right, Jacob? Yeah, right. So, yeah. Um, evidently, the newspapers were, were not big fans of this. Um, which? Which? <laughs> So is that what it said? Is that what it said? Which? No, they uh, here, Jacob. I'll send you the image. They definitely just started screaming, "Which?" They were like, "Which? You can't use gas." That's the image. What? What? Yes, they were uh, that worried about the dangers of gas lighting. So. Uh, oh my gosh! No. <laughs> yes, for those li- for those just listening, um, it is a picture of uh, four or five gentlemen in very old timey outfits. And one of them has been blown into the sky by a large fire. And there is a cat and a chair and another man and some boards in the uh, sky. All because he held a candle a little bit too close to that gas lamp. So, they were uh, oh. they were incredibly worried, I guess. Oh, my. So, um, yep. How? Um, so, so, I guess, uh, I guess it was used a lot, but it's, uh mildly dangerous so uh listen to big news kids um <laughs> yeah uh but no big big news the the uh, newspapers in the uh, 1800s were very upset about that gas lighting yeah luke you do you like hunting ducks um i do i do why because we have here a water hunting tripod oh you see. okay you sit on this okay i should probably copy this image over yeah so send, me, send me the image real quick so I yeah, can, the whole I can... the whole point of these regular shows where we're telling each other fun facts is that we don't really know what it's gonna be beforehand. We just go, oh, pick some stuff. What is that? <laughs> you see, Luke, you can always um, count on your water hunting tripod to uh, always uh, help you get closer to those ducks. You know, mm-hmm. you just skedaddle across the water. Yep, and get those ducks. Um, I don't think this thing became anything real, because, um, first of all, how are you supposed to get across? Also, is that French at the bottom? Let's see. Yeah, that Aguiente l- tripod. Hi, hey, it could be... Sp- no, that, that is definitely French. Yeah. No, Lord, no, yeah, yeah that, there's, there's no way it's not French. Yeah, the French were like, guys! Oh, but it was invented in... 1823 looks like according yeah, wait, to the wh- thing in the bottom corner wouldn't the ducks um fly away before you got to them yeah if i was a duck and i saw that thing coming across the water i would be very concerned tripod the, the uh i oh i just read the guy's name who wrote the world war of worlds books you know the um, giant george tripods. orwell george orwell oh my gosh right? 19- wait is that right no H.G. Wells. That's where we, I was like, George Orwell wrote, wrote that too? I'm like... No, H.G. Wells. What's this? H.G. Wells. Yeah. yeah. Different guy. That guy... Eight, yes, The War little, of the Worlds from 1898. A uh, little known fact about The War of the Worlds. Uh, one time, a guy was reading it off. Right? On the on the radio. On the radio. And people thought it was real news. Thought it was real. And people thought it was real news. And they uh, freaked out. They very freaked out for a sec there. Hey. All right. You know what else? It makes- was. It, it must have been a really good book then. You know what else makes people freak out? Lung cancer. Wait, actually, how did you predict that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> I was actually going to say asbestos. <laughs> that was in- that was incredible. He he guessed where I was going next. Um, so uh, asbestos. That's a classic. You know, you've seen the commercials. If you or a loved one has medullary palasia syndrome type 2. I don't know. I don't remember what disease that is, but I'm sure it's one of those asbestos-related ones. When in doubt, it's probably asbestos-related. I know you can get lung cancer and a whole bunch of other terrible things because asbestos is a fine powder um, that is really sharp, and if you breathe it in, it cuts up your lungs. Very bad. Yeah, it's really bad for you. I, I think that if you're near asbestos... Don't be. So, uh, technically, asbestos was, like, originally found, like, a really long time ago, but it didn't, like, begin to be mined or anything until, like, the mid to late 1800s. Um, yeah. And it was, Just like, tiles. it was mined, like, a ton in, uh, Canada. So, 
a lot of people in Canada and a lot of people in the U.S. too. Um, but it was used for all sorts of stuff. Fabric. Um, let's see. Yeah, fabric, uh, drywall, plaster, gas mask filters. That would be really terrible. Oh, that's not good. What's not good? Yeah. That's a that's a bad plan. To do asbestos? <laughs> yeah, imagine you're you're in world you're serving in World War Two and there was asbestos in your gas max filters. Yes. Most countries I'm assuming the US included, um vinyl floor tiles, roofing tiles, um popcorn ceilings, fireproofing, um all gaskets, curtains, blankets, doors. Is this all asbestos? Yes. HVAC tubing. Um uh Hey, hey guys! I, I'm I'm just gonna tell you everybody something. You know how like people get lead removed from the houses because of lead poisoning? Same thing with asbestos. If you have any asbestos in your house, get it out of me. Like, yeah, you don't want to be breathing that in. You don't know how that's gonna get you. As one said in the office, asbestos is the silent killer. So, um, that was very out of context. That was in the middle of a joke in the office. But yeah, um, uh oh, uh oh. So is that the wait a hot wait a hot second? Uh oh, wait a hot second. What? What's hot and in a second? I'm ninety eight percent sure the room I'm in has the ceiling. Uh oh, oh, Luke. No, no, that's the that's so you'll see you'll see the image. Yeah, that's that ceiling. I'm facing up at the. I'm facing up my actual ceiling right now. Um, Jacob, I'll just text it to you, and I'll put it in the show later. Um, okay. Uh, hey, speaking of smoking, and not as uh, lethal as what Luke's taught. Actually, it, yeah, it is as lethal. It's still smoking. Uh, Luke, would you... J Jacob, Jacob, check check your message. Okay, I'll go check. I'll um, be right back, that's, guys. Yeah, the, the ceiling above me is the one that you see on screen right now. Um, so be praying for me. Uh, I was trying to make a joke about asbestos, but maybe I should actually have my house check. Cause yeah. that looks an, that looks an off, you, you, you get what I'm saying though. That looks an awful lot like it. Oh my gosh, Luke, run, run, Luke. Uh, Hey Luke, would you ever want to smoke automatically? Oh, you know it. Yeah. Would you ever get to want to get lung ca cancer automatically? I would love that too. Well, well, say hello to the automatic smoking machine. Oh, it's, why? It smokes for you. But how does it go into your lungs? I think it just goes into your lungs automatically. But I'm confused. Also, this one's in French too. The French really like doing stuff automatically and tripods. Oh, I get it. It smokes, and then it see that stack in the middle. I'm pretty sure the smoke stack puts the vapor into the room. Yeah, so you just get good plan. Hand. Good plan. You get second. Everybody in the room gets secondhand smoke. Let's go. Good plan. Good plan. Also, back to the asbestos real quick. Evidently, um, there there was a there was a large chance that a lot of people had asbestos related incidents due to nine eleven. But, yeah, what? so because there was asbestos in the building, oh and when gosh. the buildings collapsed, now, now everybody's breathing in asbestos. So if you live in New York, please watch out for asbestos. Yeah, shout to my New, New Yorkers out there. Yeah, all the New Yorkers, please leave your state immediately. No, that, well, I mean, you can, but watch, out, watch out for asbestos, guys. Move um, to whatever state I am in right now. Yes. The only state you're in is confusion. All right, what's your? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Automatic smoking. Um, anything? So, yeah. Anything else about it? Um. So so I want to know. Do you think that this invention people would still use today? You mean like if we hadn't found out if that? No, no I'm saying cancer. No, I'm still saying people would probably still use this if, if even if they knew. 
cigarettes cause cancer. Okay. No, that's that's, that's a fair point. People don't. People are lazy. They don't want to do work. Why smoke? Wait, how, how's that? Who cares how's that about the kids? No, no, I was gonna say like, <laughs> why smoke one cigarette when you can smoke twelve and have it automatically done for you? Yeah. So um. Yeah, we have to talk about this. Please do not smoke around children. Yeah, Which guys, do? secondhand smoke is bad. Like, very bad. Yeah. Smoking's bad. If you're smoking, don't smoke. Yeah. But also, smoking indoors is bad. And smoking your children is... Smoking near anybody is bad. Smoking... Wait, you say smoking your secondhand children. Secondhand smoke... Is sec- smoking your children, that's bad, too. But secondhand smoke is almost as bad as regular smoking. And the person isn't trying to be the one smoking. So that's... That's a that's a double whammy right there, and uh, also, also um, if you're gonna smoke off the shift, just don't go in the back, especially if the back is a, the parking lot of a Home Depot, because mm-hmm. there will be a kid that's named um, Jacob that will be looking out the window and just watching every single person from um, your store walking out and taking a smoke. When I say every person, I swear, every single person would take a break every five minutes to go smoke. Clearly, and, uh, Jacob has seen a lot of people smoke at Home Depot. Not at Home Depot. So Be- Luke, Right behind Home Depot. Right behind Home Depot. No, Luke, I'll send you what store it was from. I don't... And uh, if he wants to say it. Oh, you... okay. <laughs> okay. So... The Home Depot and the Toys R Us are in very close close proximity to well, one another. Well, it used to be because R.I.P. my boy Toys R Us. Nobody do anything to him. Yeah, R.I.P. Toys R Us. But um, no, they are in very close proxim. The two buildings used to be very close proximity to one another. So um, the Toys R Us staff was on break outside, like in between the Home Depot and the Toys R Us. So I'm guessing. Everybody there to not want to smoke. Hey, at least they didn't smoke around the children. Yeah. Hey, yeah, they they were like, I want to smoke, but secondhand smoke, that's not it. Or there was just probably a store policy. All right, you know what else is a good policy? Not leaving your children unattended on a carousel. But that happens far too often. And so that's what we're going to be talking about next, the carousel. The carousel, progress? technically, you could argue... Oh, the carousel of progress. Watch our first episode. Um... <laughs> But the uh, the carousel is like one of those weird ones because like when was it invented? Nobody's really sure. Sometimes people are like the 1500s. Sometimes people are like the 17th century. But most of the the ones that you think of are probably made like 1870 or later. So like we're gonna count that as an 1800s invention. Um. You know, speaking of carousels, Walt Disney had the idea for um, Disneyland while uh, watching his daughters on the carousel. Because he was like, man, I wish I could go on the carousel with them. But, like, you know. I'm too big. I'm too big, and there's no way for me to enjoy a fun time with my family. What if there's a place for the whole family to enjoy that? And then he's like, wait a minute. I own a lot of money. And so he he, he, he built a he built a, an amusement park. So... Yeah. Um, but no, carousels are, uh, are amazing. Um, I actually like them a lot. Double-decker carousels are cool. But, yeah. um, so you, know I, there's, I, you, you know there's, you uh, know there's, sorry to interrupt, but, uh, go ahead, Jacob. So, wait, so I like how all of yours have usually been, um, like they actually exist, and mine are just crazy ones that could have existed? Yes. You know? But no, as I, I as I was gonna say, um, there's a there's actually this rumor, and I believed it for a while, that um carousels and merry go rounds were different. Which they're not. Wait what'd you just say? Carousels and merry go rounds were different. People people were like, you know that one has horses and one has regular animals, or one one of them is like one has horses and one oh has gosh. seats, or there's Ooh. one that's like one has a motor and the other one doesn't. Like it's it's a common online rumor. It's not even true. None of it's true, and I believe this. This is a this is okay. Yeah, that's. I can't get can't wait for my 100 story ca- carousel to come out. Oh boy, I'm I'm actually I, excited about that. Yeah. Uh, 
You, Luke, do you do you like the ocean? I do. Would you like to bring the ocean inside your house? Inside my house? Yes. Welcome to the Niagara. It's uh... What is that? <laughs> the seaside at home? Uh... <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yeah, see, you can just, you know, wait. You can absolutely have a great experience. You can go in the waves inside your own house. Ooh. I'm honestly kind of... I actually don't mind that. That seems kind of interesting. A treat never experienced before. What would the... What would the, the, it be made out of, though? Fiberglass. Because... Asbestos. It's made out of asbestos. <laughs> no, lead. All lead. Oh, there we go. Specially recommended for invalids, delicate people, and children. So that your children can drown at home instead of <laughs> oh! at the ocean. That's a good way, plan. Way easier to stop paying for those food bills. Yeah. You thought you thought three pound... Is that a pound? Three pounds? Yeah, that's a pound sign. The price, three pounds, ten... What does the S mean? Ten shillings. Shillings, okay. Shillings! I was three... I was trying to figure out pence, and I was like, why? It's not a, it's not pence. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and it's 5% discount for cash if you mention this paper when writing. Also, I love when people put percent as two words because that it's real old school. It's really nice. Hey, you want me to read the little description? A treat never experienced before. Give the full fullest Ill illusion of a sea or river bath. Absolutely no water. Flashing in the room, only a pals of hot or cold water required. Keep the blood in active circulation, strongly made of... Oh, it's made of tin steel. Oh, and That's... artistically enameled. Will last a lifetime. Wait, wouldn't... Wouldn't... Does steel rust? Not stainless steel. It's also enameled. So, it like, it has a layer around the outside. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure... I could make water splash out of that thing pretty easy. Yeah, honestly, rock back and forth like twice and the water is gone. For people who are just listening, it's like crescent shaped and you're sitting inside the crescent. So all you have to do is just rock back and forth. I but love I, I love these old timey abbreviations. What's so, an invalid? Invalid. What's an invalid? Like somebody who can't walk or something. Oh yeah, put the person who can't walk inside. Yeah. Um... Okay, no, these, these old-timey abbreviations, though. The Jersey Company, so CO, Limited, LTD, Patentees and Sole Manufacturers, Manufacturers abbreviating MFTRS, period. And then one of these abbreviations, I'm not sure, so it's Inchbrook, and then it's something, something Stroud, Stroud, and then it's Gloucestershire, Sorry for the uh, people in the UK uh, if I butchered that pronunciation. Um, but that abbreviation, you the N NR period, I'm not sure what that is, that one's for. Um, North, maybe? Uh, you know, weird weird abbreviations for, for different places. All right, you know what else is weird? Uranium. Oh, yeah, we're going to the 50s, aren't we, baby? Well, if by 50s you mean 1789... Because that's that's the year that uranium was found. Um, oh, I'm counting it because the first like isolated sample was in the 1800s, and most like radioactivity stuff was in the 1800s. But it is pretty funny that um, that it was invented in the late 1700s. Um, but yeah, it was uh, just. Wait, did you just say uranium was invented? Okay, we found uranium. It, it you know what I'm saying. He didn't, you know they didn't, Do you know how hard it is to get uranium? It's not like a easy thing to get. It's it's an insanely complex molecule. And that's why the gonna hide it from you. It's an atom, right? Yes, it's an atom. Yes. It's not bound to anything else. Um yes, it's a, it's a very com complex atom. Yes, um, dissolving pitch blend in nitric acid and neutralizing the so the solution with sodium hydroxide. Um, so uh, then there was black powder and uh, boom. Is this is this a, 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 is this an at home recipe? Yes, um, make uranium at home. You can. Oh my. It's not actually oh. that. Wait, that's weirdly not. 
guys, we're not saying. Do not make uranium at home. Do not. Well, I repeat. <laughs> you're gonna need. You're gonna need uraniumite. Can I order this? Don't order. Don't no. <laughs> We're not or if Luke or uranium, he might get if he gets. Uh, I just uh, Google name. would like to know your location. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, shopping, Luke. shopping tab. Luke, do you like Wait. fences? Sixty, what? sixty-five bucks. No. And I can get it delivered in two weeks. Luke, I swear, if you get this, dude, Arizona uranium will send me it. That's the name of the thing. Shout out to Arizona Uranium. Please don't, Luke. I'm just pointing out, if that someone you... wanted to, you could make uranium at home. Should you? Probably not. Would you actually be able to do anything like dangerous with it? Probably not, because you'd need way more chemicals and stuff than that. But, if you I'm, really saying, want you to, I'm saying you should not think, do it. Think. But you could make uranium at home. So. Luke, yeah, so. Luke, it's also like highly it? it's highly radioactive like you die if you worked with it for too long so yeah so um luke do you like fences i do like fences why you gotta keep um, stuff in or out y yeah so but do, isn't it a very hard troll to walk around them you know it just mm. takes so much mm. time so why don't you uh bike on it oh <laughs> Call me Einstein over here. I'm, I'm, it's another one where there's a good expression and then I forgot it. Not killing two birds with one stone. Um, I'm thinking um, smarter, not harder, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Now, you can just ride around. Also, that guy's leg does not exist on this other side. No, it, it does. I, look, 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 it's right there. I know it exists, but it, it's like transparent. Yeah, the artist got a little bit lazy. He was like, guys, I don't think this is going to happen. Yeah, honestly, that would be a really good way to ride around. Is, uh, you get on you get on the bicycle on the fence, and boom, like Tom Sawyer's painting the fence, and you're riding right over him. Oh, he made... Wait, we can't reference that, Luke. Why can't we? Oh, it's can It's canceled. Oh, my bad, my bad. Um, What's another thing with a fence in it? Like, that's a, that's a prominent chapter in that book. Um, um, uh, the, the one fence from that one where, movie. Where the red fern grows. Oh, no, the one fence from the movie where uh, the animal, over the hedge. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. No, you know what movie it's in. What movie? The hit 1998 movie. I hit ants. Jacob, J could, Jacob is ma very mad at me for making another ants joke. Yeah. I'll it's okay. Making, it's okay. Making... It's it's now a running gag, Jacob. You you're uh, you stuck with it. Yeah. I you know what else of... is sort of a running gag, and by that I mean it happens to a lot of people every year, and it's actually a, a tragic thing. Is getting cancer. That was a ter that was a terrible transition. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, but Why are we talking you know what you else know, was uh, invented? Cancer. <laughs> no, you know what else uh, was discovered as a uh, a way to to treat things in the uh, technically it's the early 1900s, but I'm still gonna count it because it's kind of close. Um, Something was invented to help. Yeah, chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. So 19 what? 1907. Um, oh, okay. I was expecting if this was made in the 1800s, that so, was gonna be like, no. It's a little, it's a little later, but I'm gonna still count it because like, it's got that same kind of vibe to keep it. Running out of ideas. I keep running out of ideas for things. <laughs> um, but no, it's uh, yeah. You're just sending in some small molecule drugs, and uh, boom, it's gone. So, it's a gone. Not all the way though. Not all the way. Some of the time, but you know, it's okay. Um, and it's you not can, okay. And you and but. you get to go bald sometimes, you know? Hey, it's All okay. Tra it's kind of a an okay trade-off, I guess. I mean, I, I have to talk to somebody. But I'm sure Luke. I'm sure not dying versus losing your hair is uh, usually the trade-off to make. I don't know. Maybe there's some cases where it's not. Yeah. All right, Jacob, um, what's the next thing you've got? Luke, do you like 
woodwind instruments canes i actually do like woodwind instruments canes umbrellas umbrella man but but shut up that's we're not to that episode yet (laughs) and bug catching and bug catching so you got all this stuff on here you got the flute Mm -hmm. you got a pain Mm -hmm. you got a way to smoke opium whoa (laughs) <laughs> uh, uh kids you got, don't kids don't do drugs uh you got a uh, bug catching net you got a way to measure your horse mm, like i'm telling how many, you how many hands high it is yeah how many ha- tie it is you know you've got everything on here i haven't listed any of them yet you can have an umbrella from the rain um you got a swiss army knife uh a gentleman's uh there's some gentlemen pastimes. I just. Also, it says. There's also a way to drink alcohol with it. Uh, I don't know how, but you can do it. Uh, so have fun with that. Uh, you can also. Um, I think that's it. But I gotta say, you know, I can smoke opium and play the flute. Like I mean, Luke, Luke, wouldn't that be awesome? Yes. Um, uh, drugs are bad, kids. Drugs are bad, kids. But if it's nineteen, I should just say how old it is. If it's nineteen, nineteen to eighteen hundreds, it's fine, kids. So if you want to smoke opium, go back to to the eighteen hundreds. Yeah, and opium's bad, but you know what's less bad is heroin. So I mean, you know what I'm saying. I don't think you can. I, I don't think that government. We do not sell any drugs, especially in New Mexico. We are not drug dealers. No, but you know what is a good place to buy things is Shopify.com. Arizona Uranium, which sells uranium from Arizona. You know, it's also a good place to buy stuff. You know what also is a good place to buy stuff? New York. And you know what was invented in New York? In New York? Wait, I, I, I'm going to try and guess what it is. Cause I think I have something take, else. For take me. a guess. Take a take a guess. Take a guess. Okay. Um. I I lost. It. What was made in New York that I just saw? Take a guess. Take a guess. Eighteen hundreds. Eighteen. This one's actually eighteen hundreds. Like I'm not stretching it like at all. This is genuinely uh, an eighteen hundreds invention. Oh. Well, um. The the toilet mask. No. Think like think like very big New York thing like. Famous. My way. No, like famous structure in New York. Empire State That's Building in the 30s, right? 1930. Uh, yeah, uh, the bridge, bridge. Yes, which one? The Liberty Statue. No, the, no, you. I said yes. Yes. Oh, the bridge. Yes. The, oh, but also, what's the name of the bridge? The Brooklyn Bridge. Yes. That the, one. The Brooklyn Bridge opened on May 24th. Wow, I 18, was really bad at that guy. 83. No, he was actually weirdly good. He kind of got it. Um, it was originally called the New York and Brooklyn Bridge. Bro, but that's kind of too long of a title, so they changed it. But no, it uh, it is um, the southernmost of the four toll-free vehicular bridges connecting Manhattan and Long Island. That is a really long name, honestly. They're really long description. I think it's definitely worth uh, checking out if you're ever in New York. Just watch out for the asbestos, as we already established. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, Brooklyn Bridge. Um, you know how there's that like running joke where it's like, if you believe that, then I've got a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn. I think it's actually a great like old timey expression. I love these old timey expressions. So speaking of old timey expressions, um, Jacob, did you know that the word "okay" uh, is an abbreviation? Yes, I know it is an abbreviation. Do you remember what it's an abbreviation for? Oh, oh, ah, uh, oh! I forgot. Oh, it's um, uh, it um, um. Three uh, minutes of Jacob saying uh, um. <laughs> uh. Do you want uh, me to tell you? Yeah. It's all correct. Dang it! Wait. I like I like how you go. Dang it! And then you're like. <laughs> Neither one of those words is spelled like that. Exactly. You want to know what is an old-timey meme? Rich people 
who work for the newspaper spelling things wrong. Real thing, real thing. I watched a video on it. Let me, let me, let me give a shout out to my old rich people. No, to the video that I'm getting this from, because it's. Isn't it the one video where it's like the the people who, where it's like, this this is how uh that is how McDonald's is such a big company. It's. Is it, is it literally just a Vox video? It's a Vox is it a, video. Is it a Vox video? Shout out to the Vox video where it says why we say okay. Um, I definitely thought it was a different guy. But still a shout okay. out to Vox because I'm going to, I guess I'll look the video. But, um. Yeah. But no, Luke. so um, all correct is uh, is the actual abbreviation for okay. Instead of spelling it like O-K-A-Y as some people do, it's actually not like the real word. It's, um, it's literally an abbreviation that means all correct. So, yeah, yeah. Old timey jokes saying <laughs> they're like, uh, "Ha ha, we're peasants. We spell things wrong." He he. Funny, funny newspaper. Uh, Luke, do you do you do you want to ride a horse without owning one? Oh wait, theft. Because <laughs> that, that, like that. that does kind of sound like theft. Uh, do you want? But do you want also to cure indigestion and gout? And gout. And gout. Well, I got I got to hear this. And quickens the circulation, and sim- stimulates the corpulence, and promotes good spirits. Wait a minute. Wait the- a minute. <laughs> what? This <laughs> so- this sounded like it's a drug. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Okay, I really was thinking that it was going for. Really, they're gonna say cures indigestion and gout and stimulates the liver. To a fake saddle. Hey, it's like those things that they have at the mire, where it uh, moves. Where, where it's like the fake horse, but it's it's not. It's just a saddle. And it moves around like do do do. Hey, honestly, like bro, you know, look how happy he is. You know that guy is that guy with the nice mustache. He's really happy about, and it has three modes: trot, canter, and gallop. So you know it's good. Um, I What's guess canter? canter is in between a trot and a gallop. Come on, Jacob. Wow. You could have figured that out by context, not having to do anything with horses. Mm-hmm. Um, also, it was made by the British, so obviously. Yes. What is this? This actually really looks like it's early 1900s, though. Yeah. Mm. That was your thing from the early 1900s. That's fair. Jeez. That's fair. The Stop judging. Like, <laughs> uh, chemotherapy? Yeah. Yes. Also, Luke, would you like to be tortured by your friends for fun? Ooh, for fun. For fun. Yes, I yeah. I guess so. Would you would you like to go up, fall fall backwards, and then go down and get poured again a rancid solvent on your face? Maybe. What is this? It's called the devil's slide. Oh, Sounds classic. What is the... I think he's dead. <laughs> I think it's a torture device. That's fine. I'm, I'm concerned. But it also kind of doesn't look that bad. It, it's like think, like... think like early roller coaster with a little bit of a twist. Can we talk about... So I was watching this video today. And it talked about how there was this... There was this ride r- ride that was based on the plane, the Spitfire plane. That mm-hmm. way. But it was a bobsledding. Mm-hmm. But it was, but they were all built really bad. So in like a year, they all burnt down. Well, every happened. single one of them Wait, say, was say, gone. Say, say that again. They were all burnt down. Every single one of one of those Spitfire rides was gone. Also, it was kind of funny because it was built like in 1930, like nine, right before World War II broke out. Hey, but it like, happens. Look at this cool invention that we're never ever gonna use. Hey, you know what else is very cool? Abraham Lincoln. You know where you Abraham know what... Lincoln was born? Not Ford Theater. That's where he died. No, he didn't. He died in a hospital, like. Five blocks away. Shut up, Luke. He was shot in Ford Theater. It, by... I mean, it's true. He he was shot in the theater. 
No, the uh, the state that he was born in. Um, that is right. The state he was born in is Illinois. Also, the way you said it was weird, but I'll just cut it from the video. Um, Shut up. He's cutting me from the video, guys. I repeat, Luke is just like the FBI, like, cutting cutting people out of history. That's true. Um, but no, uh, I guess, um, I guess, uh, we're cutting out Jacob. I'll honestly cut it out because it'll be kind of funny. But I'm not going to cut out us talking about cutting it out because that's more funny. All right, no, uh, Illinois is, um... Illinois is the uh, state that was admitted on December 3rd, 1818. It's the 21st state in the were you, union. Were you, expect, were you expecting me to be able to answer that? I I don't know. You were like, and it was made in 1818. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Jacob, come on. You know when every state has been admitted to the union. Yeah, 1889. Did you know? Here, here, here. I'm going to let you guess. What's the total square miles of Illinois? Without looking it up. No Googling. Uh, I'm going to guess. Take a guess. It's in the thousands. Tens of thousands or in the thousands? It's in the tens of thousands, but not the hundreds of thousands. I'm going to guess 50,650 square miles. That's kind of close, honestly. 57,915. Oh my gosh, I was 7,000 away. Hey, if you don't count the water, it's 55,593. So, you're pretty close. Hey, I was only 5,000 away, my dude. Hey, you know what the highest elevation is? Luke, I don't think the state of Illinois is an invention. You know what the highest elevation is? What? (laughs) Charles's Mound. Man, Charles must have been having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay, there's a spike so I can remember to cut right before you say that. Yeah, because I can't say that. Chica, what's the median household income in the state of Illinois? I'm going to guess 15,000. 15? What? <laughs> household income. Oh, um, seventy five thousand. No, sixty five thousand. Well, I was only ten away. What well, percentage of people speak Spanish? Fifteen percent. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> what? Fourteen point nine. How? It's, I'm just guys. I'm really good with math. He's act. What? That's insane, though. No way. No way. You pulled up. The- Wikipedia page for it or something like that. No, no. Who would ever do that? What's the what's the fish of? What's the fish of um, Illinois? I'm gonna guess the bass. Bluegill, bluegill. Oh, they're into those bluegills. All right, those bills. What dance is the official dance of the state of Illinois? The whippin' nene. No, it's the square dance, but that was close. That was close. That was close. All right, one more good one. One more good one. Okay, what social security numbers could you be issued if you lived in the state of Illinois? Here's a hint. First state to have social security numbers. There's actually a hint. That's It's, it's, it's not a hint. It's, it's a trick. I'm going to go 905. I'm going to let you know before you guess that uh, Social Security numbers cap out at, like, 700 for the first three digits, except some of them are reserved for railroads. So most, uh, con- I think all the continental states are between 000 and, like, 400 and something. I'm going to guess 399. No, no. Uh, it's 368 to 361, so um, right before Michigan in the uh, index. So if you, so um, if you guys live in Michigan, you know, have fun. Have fun having social security Please. numbers after Illinois, but no, seriously, that's a huge range because some states. Because we know we know what your first first three numbers are. No, it's actually not even true because there's multiple. There's multiple ones in Michigan too. I think. Um, let's let's just go to ssn.gov. Um, ssn.gov. Yeah, because I need I need some social security stuff. 
Also, I need to know who assassinated MLK. Um, we do need to know who assassinated MLK. But that is next not... video, guys. Maybe next Please. video. Um, vote on it. Um, on oh. a YouTube. No, I'm not gonna put up another YouTube poll. I don't even know why I'm gonna say that. Cause we've got more videos that we can come up with on our own. Cause yeah. there's yeah. the other ones in the YouTube poll that we didn't do. We got a schedule now, guys. So we, we have a schedule. Getting... We're gonna try to actually figure out stuff. So to get things out of the thing. Yeah, cause we're. That sorry was that... a terrible sentence. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, Luke, just start talking better. Yes. Also, um, we're sorry for a little bit of not a. Uh... Not uploading the big video, you know. Yeah, we we felt like doing bonus bites and also not have. I did not feel like editing. Yeah, <laughs> you just didn't feel like it, guys. I didn't feel like that's a terrible excuse. Yeah, so never use that excuse, guys. Especially. All right, here we go. Here we go. If you're if you're in the woods in Japan. Okay, zero 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 one. No, zero zero one through zero zero three is New Hampshire. Can we sing a song? Oh, okay. So if you live in North Carolina, it starts with a with two three two. Let me see if there's any other states. Oh, if you live in Wyoming, oh. it, it's five twenty. If you like Mr. Beast, you know. If you live in Alaska, it's five seven four. Three two one. Uh, let's see. The railroad board is seven hundred through seven twenty eight. Um, five seventy eight through six hundred ninety nine have not been issued. That's say for you know eventual states to the union. I'm sure or something. Um, and, uh, 750 through 772 uh, have not been issued, and, uh, the ones that were issued to railroad employees was discontinued in 1963, and you cannot have one beginning with 000, because that's an example. Oh, okay. That sounds, like, fun. Everybody knows Beyond. how bad the social security system is, though. But they changed it in 2011, so... Um, they changed Obama? it. Obama? So, yeah. No, the, uh, not Obama. I guess Obama might have done it, but, um, no, they, uh, essentially they randomized the numbers, like, way better. So, if you're born after 2011, that's good. Because then you don't have a social security number that just counts up. Yeah. Because it's um, a terrible system, honestly. Man, we went on a really big rant. We went from, um, Illinois to, um... To social security numbers? No, nah, it's not that far. Any other inventions, Jacob? I actually got one more. All right, Jacob's got the last invention. The page I took this from, Lily says, no idea, but uh, we can have fun theorizing what this could have been. All right, here we go. Oh, Jacob, that's simple. Okay, imagine this. Your your buddies are out in the field, right? And they're, they're, hunting, they're hunting for goats. Oh, Luke, no, that, that would end terribly for you. Right? No, no, no. They're hunting for goats, and you want to prank them. You want to prank your friends. You want to do a little bit of trolling. A little bit of trolling. So, see that, see that like, weird stirrup thing? Not, not, the, not, the, not the actual stirrup-shaped things. The ones that, the one that looks like, like a handlebar? Yeah. Put your feet on that. Right? <laughs> then you grab the two handholds. Right? Right? You lower it. And you it. swing those back and forth, and that moves the cart forward. Right? And you're laying down underneath. And then your buddies are out in the field, and they're like, we're shooting at the goat, but he just ain't falling. And so, it's all fun, Wait, it's all fun in games until somebody hits you, but... There's petals on it. There is a pet... What is that thing sticking out, then? There's Where? Something on on the wheel there's something sticking out on the wheel i don't know i'm definitely telling you that the fuzzy wonder the champion of his species that's the uh title and the subtitle of this guy is uh 100 percent that you're gonna go you're gonna go troll your friends in the field who are trying to hunt goats which i don't even think is illegal but you know what so i i only scrolled halfway for this page uh, you guys want to see something that's very weird? I oh. guess. What is that? <laughs> um. Okay, the candidate thinks he's up against the real thing when the chief brander shows him that must undergo the ordeal. 
But why is the KKK there? <laughs> it's not. He's just he's just got a little white cap on. He's not the. It's not the real. He's not the honestly, real. Honestly, though, these are these are some foul pranks. This one and the one. I'm I'm a little concerned. I'm 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 a little concerned for safety in the you, 1800s. Well, you want to see the, we're you want gonna, to see the surprise chair. What? The surprise chair. What surprise chair? The surprise chair. Are you sending it? I'm sending it right now. The surprise chair. Oh, the surprise chair. The surprise. Okay, how, how many? You had so many backup inventions, though. I I had a lot, Luke. You want okay. you want to see? You want to see? All, well, we can just put this in the, at the end of the video. Yeah. You know, for everybody to see. Yeah. Every, if you want to check out these amazing last few inventions, what is invisible paddle machine? Oh, okay. Uh, here's a wireless telephone trick. Let me see. Let me see. Wait for it to send. Ah, 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 hello, I hear you calling me. Oh, very funny, very funny. All right, do you have I, any more? All of them are scalding things. Yeah, really, uh, these are all, these are, a lot one. of these pranks are a little strange. Okay, well, I sure hope, I sure hope that you all enjoyed this amazing episode. Um, I hope you thought it was amazing. Please go check out the YouTube, the uh, Spotify, depending on which one you're on, go check out the other one. Go check out our Patreon if you want to become a really cool patreon person um over on the patreon uh, pat a patron yeah that, that's what they're called um if you want to go support us on patreon we have three amazing supporters right now josiah kettler jj sebastian and sam shockmav so if you want to be just like those guys and uh get to see some bonus content more content always coming out um basically whenever we feel like recording it instead of on a regular schedule Maybe we'll eventually we'll get a regular schedule over there. But it's just fun bonus content, just us goofing around, playing games and stuff. Um, if you want to do that, uh, check that out. Uh, you can support us, and thank you for listening. Please give us five stars, subscribe, all this stuff. I mean, I don't really care, but it helps uh, fun. Other, It helps other people see this. And uh, we'll see you all next time on, uh, on our show. See ya.